We paid zero dollars for this tiny house and we added it to our homestead. In this video, we're gonna show you exactly how we did it. Let's roll the tape. This tiny home was built by a young couple who wanted to build their forever home. When I found their home on the market, I came up with a brilliant idea. My name is Will. I left the city of Atlanta, Georgia with my partner, Austin, to start a homestead. This land has been in my family for over a hundred years. Now, we're putting our first tiny home on it. Meet Brandon and Kate, the previous owners. Caitlin wants to live in a shed. Caitlin said that if you do the math on renting a place, it costs like a thousand dollars a month. So it's like twelve thousand dollars a year. We're gonna buy a deluxe lofted cabin. They bought the shed and started getting to work. So now that it's delivered, let's take a look inside. Brandon and Kate did everything from painting, insulation, electrical, plumbing, and putting their all into their future home. Brandon and Kate were going to live in this tiny home forever until this. They got pregnant with a little one and decided they would need a much larger space than a tiny home that they had built. They placed the tiny home for sale. Meanwhile, I was online searching for tiny homes then it dawned on me. Look for tiny homes that have been listed for weeks that have not sold. Present the idea of a revenue share model to the seller where I list a tiny home on Airbnb, BRBO, Booking.com, and our website, GlampingRemote.com. And the proceeds will go towards paying it off. Brandon was open to the idea and we created our first partnership together. Brandon walked us through the piping system so we could reattach it after moving it to our land. Now it's time to pack up everything to get it ready to be moved. All of the furniture and appliances fit on one trailer load. Let's start the tiny home move. I'm always impressed by the process of moving a tiny home from one property to another. These big and strong machines pick up houses like it's nothing. Next is getting our new tiny home to our property. I thought we had done the calculations correctly, but the tiny home is too big to fit through our gate. Thanks to my dad, he always knows what to do in these kinds of situations. Our delivery guys wasted no time putting our tiny home in the perfect spot. I wanted to put the tiny home where my great grandmother had her old house. That's my mom and aunt enjoying the sunset while we work.
Now, we're ready to move in and start making this place our home. No time for rest. We still have one more piece to complete the house, the deck. Now I have to back the trailer up in order to get the deck. We got the deck with no issues. Let's go back home. My dad is super smart when it comes to anything related to tractor work. He loves to get things done at daybreak and uses his skills to not break his back, working too hard. The tractor picked up the deck off the trailer and I used my truck to ease it off. Getting the deck off was hard, but leveling is even harder. We wanted it flush to the house so that we could walk outside and you can enter the deck and relax. This took many tries until we got it right. Of course, it started raining during the process to make it more difficult. Great work, Dad. Starting a homestead made me fall in love with plumbing. I found this old bottle buried in the ground. I wonder how old this is. The support I have from my family and friends keep me going. Because when you have a bed and breakfast, that's like, that's something that, you know, brings people to you. This tiny house has given us a little bit more problems than we expected from hot water heaters to water not having pressure and everywhere on the property has pressure i don't know if it's how something is hooked up under the house i call my cousin and dad to help with the electricity Look who showed up right on time.
I think we're all set to go. Let's try the lights now. It's time for the not so glamorous part of working on a house, hyping out the waste system. This process can be tedious and one big puzzle to figure out. I enjoy doing PEX pipe, but I hate PVC. You can hide from the glue. I should have had my mask on. Ugh. We got a delivery from all the way across the Atlantic Ocean, a home biogas toilet system. And if you want a discount, you can click on that link in the description. The home biogas system works perfectly for us. Since we're looking for a more eco-friendly waste system, it can turn your poo into methane gas that you can cook with. I'm so proud of the work I did in the bathroom. How many tiny homes do you know install of a day? The bidet system fits well on a home bio toilet and connecting everything was simple and straightforward. I had no issues. This hose is used specifically for the toilet, separate from the PVC we install. I built a wooden box for the porcelain throne. The home bio toilet is shorter than your normal toilet, so putting it on a raised foundation makes it comfortable to use. I painted the box where the toilet sits white to match the mostly all white themed bathroom. The cedar wall is almost complete. This is an additional part to the toilet, a stainless steel bidet sprayer. Let's give it a try. I reworked the shower tiles and I'm happy with the work I did. I love decorating unique spaces like tiny homes and tents. There's something so special about making a space feel like home by adding pictures, art pieces, and little details to make it cozy. Lighting is very important to how the space feels inside and out. We're almost finished with the tiny home, but need to make sure the outdoor lighting is perfect. Before we reveal the final product, let's celebrate 
with homegrown blackberries. This is the tiny home. This tiny home is over 300 square feet with a full kitchen. Bathroom. Sleeping loft, wood fireplace for those cozy fall and winter nights. Outdoor seating area and a cozy inflatable hot tub. We couldn't be happier. This project has been a lot of work. First, I wanna give thanks to Brandon and Kate for actually building the tiny house and for trusting us with the process. Next, I would love to thank my great partner, Austin, for all the amazing work he does on camera and off the camera. And my lovely family, my dad, shout out to my dad. He got his son's back. And if you love this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, Comment below, comment and tell us what you love the most about this video. Did you like the decorations? Did you like these guns right here? Tell me what you like the most. And if you love this video, we also think you will like this video as well. Until next time, y'all. Peace.